Hi guys, I'm Amy and today we're going to be talking about the seated dumbbell shoulder press. So the shoulder press is an awesome movement that really isolates your delts and by using dumbbells you can try and correct any imbalances that you may have between your shoulders. On today's video I'm going to be running through three common mistakes that I see when people perform the seated shoulder press and how we can correct them. So the first mistake I see is all about your range of motion. So this usually happens when people use a weight that's too heavy for them to lift and as they've lowered their dumbbells down they're actually stopping way too short which means that they're not getting the full range of motion through their delt and therefore they're not utilising the max of their muscles potential. So what you want to do on the lowering phase of the dumbbell press, you want to make sure that your elbows stop maybe like an inch lower than 90 degrees. This ensures that you're still getting a good range of motion through your delt, but you're also keeping the tension in your delt as you lower and again when you push back up. The second mistake I see is all about the control of the movement. So what again I often see is people picking up dumbbells too heavy for them, they're pushing so fast that the dumbbells bang together at the top of the movement, which means that they're not getting a full squeeze through their muscle at the top. They're then having no control on the way down and just letting the dumbbells swing down with momentum. So what you want to do is control the movement on the way up, don't let the dumbbells hit together and make sure you pause for a second at the top where you can really squeeze your delts and then with full control on the way down, slowly lower maybe in about two seconds on the way down so that you're still getting tension through your delts on the lowering phase. And the final mistake I see is about the position of the dumbbells throughout the movement. So what I often see is people pressing the dumbbells, they're pressing up but they're also pressing forward and out. So to prevent this from happening, at the top of the movement, you want to make sure that your hands stay directly above your shoulders and at the bottom of the movement, the dumbbell should lie directly past your ears. So just a quick recap of the video, the three common mistakes that I see when people perform the seated dumbbell shoulder press are number one, limited range of motion. So you want to make sure that you're bringing the dumbbells down about an inch below 90 degrees every rep. And the second mistake I see is about pushing through with momentum and no control of the movement throughout. So you want to make sure that you're controlling the movement nice and slow on the way up and again on the way down, not letting the dumbbells clash together at the top. And number three is about the positioning of the dumbbells. You want to make sure that at the top of the movement, the dumbbells are directly above your shoulders and then at the bottom of the movement, the dumbbells are in line with your ears. Thank you for watching guys. If you find my video useful, please click like or leave a comment and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.